Hello classmate, welcome to Stellar Freelancing Academy. Do you want to learn to become a WordPress developer? Then this video is for you. If you want to learn the steps to becoming an expert at WordPress development, stick around and watch this tutorial. The process of becoming a WordPress developer involves determining what knowledge you already have and what you need to learn to start. Then, you'll want to pick an area or niche that best suits your interest and skill set and adapt the best practices of this profession. To become a full-fledged WordPress developer, here are the steps you need to take. Understand the primary skill sets required. There are multiple languages used in making WordPress sites. Some of these are HTML or Hypertext Markup Language, which is the foundational language and powerful and fairly easy to master. It's comprised of markup codes or elements that dictate how different aspects of a page will be displayed. These elements may include page titles, headings, paragraph text, data tables, and so on. CSS or cascading style sheets, whereas HTML comprises the building blocks of web pages, CSS is used to dictate the way elements look. CSS controls aspects like font types and colors, page layouts, click effects, and other stylistic sets. For example, the HTML element for somebody text might also include the CSS code to specify what color the text should display in. PHP is a server-side scripting language that is used to develop static websites or dynamic websites or web applications. It can be used for many functions including auto-generating files, encrypting data, accessing databases, and so much more. MySQL is an open source relational database management system. In a nutshell, WordPress uses PHP to retrieve and store data from MySQL databases. Important site administrative features such as user roles are made possible on WordPress using MySQL. So the next step is learn all you can about WordPress. Before you tackle the responsibilities of a developer, you must learn as many aspects of WordPress as possible. The first step you should take is to set up a WordPress staging site. This will enable you to rapidly get a feel of the dashboard and to play around with the functions of the platform in a secure environment. We'll discuss more about staging sites later in this course. Although it will likely require a financial investment, completing a WordPress course will help you fast-track your learning progress. Most WordPress courses present information in a well-structured and beginner-friendly format and can be easily referenced at later points. Popular examples include WordPress 101, which also contains tutorials for essential plugins, WP Apprentice, and this course, the WordPress Design and Development Bootcamp. Of course, no overview of WordPress learning resources would be complete without reference to the WordPress Codex, which is the official WordPress wiki. This is an invaluable resource for searching terms and finding officially approved explanations and tutorials. It can also be a useful reference when coding or contributing to the platform. Finally, it's smart to subscribe to various WordPress blogs and YouTube channels. These serve as an excellent way to keep up to date with WordPress trends and discover ways to use the platform more efficiently. After you've acquired a solid grounding in WordPress basics, you'll be in a much better position to tackle the question of how to become a WordPress developer. Choose the area of development you'll focus on. 
WordPress is renowned for being a broad, versatile, and constantly evolving CMS. This is good news for prospective developers as it means there are entry points that cater to a broad array of interests and skill set. Although a strong technical knowledge is crucial, niches such as theme and plugin development also present opportunities to be creative. When becoming a WordPress developer, you can choose to become any of the following. A front-end developer, a back-end developer, a plug-in developer, or a theme developer. Prepare yourself for potential pitfalls. Regardless of the area you wish to focus on, as a WordPress developer, you'll likely encounter problems from time to time. This isn't at all unusual. However, failure to address these problems could mean hours of costly downtime and even the loss of clients. System bugs constitute one major recurring problem. They can cause everything from minor formatting issues to major system crashes. Learning some solid WordPress debugging practices is crucial in order to save yourself from even greater headaches down the line. WordPress plugins such as DebugDisk can also help you rapidly detect and resolve bugs. In addition to bugs, you'll need to pay close attention to potential security issues. Although the WordPress core is very secure by default, it's good practice to make sure the installation you are using for development is as safe as possible. When you put what you've developed out into the world, it can be vulnerable to a variety of attacks if you aren't careful. By familiarizing yourself with proven WordPress developer security practices, you can proceed with greater confidence. Finally, to avoid losing hours of work, or even worse, putting client data at risk, you should make a habit of backing up your WordPress development project regularly. Sites like GitHub can help you track and store your project safely. After you've armed yourself with the knowledge required to resolve potential problems, you'll be ready to get your feet with some actual development. Set up a local development environment. If you're focusing on theme or plugin development, it's best to conduct your work locally. This is to ensure that the testing or troubleshooting you conduct when developing is confined to your system. Working in a live environment can lead to catastrophe, especially if you are dealing with a client site. Fortunately, WordPress makes it relatively easy to set up a local development environment. The first thing you need is a server stack. This is the software that will form the operational infrastructure for development on your computer. This may sound a little daunting, but fortunately, there are well-documented bundled server stacks that you can download and use with little experience. These include MAMP for Mac users and XAMPP for both Windows and Mac users. Join WordPress communities. While learning how to become a WordPress developer, it's easy to fall into the habit of working on your projects in isolation. However, in order to really progress in your chosen area of development, it's vital to connect with the wider WordPress community. This helps you supplement your skill set, gain access to additional development support, and better anticipate WordPress trends. Better still, by joining the WordPress community, you can increase your chances of making lucrative connections. You can also join groups on Facebook such as WordPress Developers Philippines or WordPress Jobs Philippines, where you can get assistance from fellow Filipino developers with years of experience on WordPress. You can also join Homebase Jobs Philippines to stay updated of the latest WordPress developer jobs. So those are the steps on how to become a WordPress developer. And that's it for this video. See you on the next one.